one to come in there. There you go. You do the wet willy, then you flush it. Then you flush it. Um, there you go. DJ Wonder Chrissy here. It is Saturday, February 25th. We're headed towards the end of the month, and we've already, if you notice the the trailer or the, the intro here, we got some St. Paddy's Day influence getting going. So uh, I'm sure the Irish in Chicago on the south side, the Beverly neighborhood, are looking forward to another awesome St. Paddy's Day. Loads of green beer, corned beef, soda bread, and whatever else they come on. Cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage, folks. we got to love that. So... Um, Good morning. Good morning. As I said before, I'm DJ Wonder Chrissy. We got some bad news reports today, but it's reality, folks. It's reality. Migrant crime is spiking. Our border is wide open. And um, the people of America need to know this. They need to know this. They need to realize how their government is failing them folks your government is failing you on many many fronts if it's not inflation it's crime um just get up and look around pull yourself away from the tv or the computer and get out in america and see what's going on watch the news watch your local news there's a lot of people that when I talk to them, they say they hate watching the news because it's depressing. Well, I'm here to tell you, you need to watch the news. You need to come to grips with reality in some way, shape, or form. Don't put your head in the sand, folks. Do not put your head in the sand. You need to come to grips with what's going on and what the politicians are doing to our country. Okay? And it's not good. It's not good. So the first... Um, first report here today is uh, going to be kind of hard to digest, but let's, um, nonetheless, we got to report the news. We've got to report the news. So, um, and it, I guess we can, uh, we can say that, um, let's get that one going. It's not, it's not, uh, let's see here. That's where police have At least, uh. At least the police were able to get um, somewhat. They're able to get a suspect uh, in this one pretty quickly. So uh, let me straighten myself out here before we we let this one go. And um, this is reality, folks. I'm sorry we have to report this, but this is reality, and I'm sure it's playing out in many cities on many days. All across our country and that's part of the problem so here we go an arrest in connection to the death of 22 year old Lakin Riley the Augusta University nursing student was found dead yesterday at the University of Georgia good evening thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 6 I'm Tom Haynes and for Russ Spencer I'm Courtney Bryant authorities say Riley's body was found after she didn't return from a run near the intramural fields tonight we bring you team coverage including a closer look at the victim's life we begin with Fox 5's Kim Luffler near the UGA campus and Kim we just learned about that arrest within the last hour. What details can you give us tonight? Well, Athens Clark County Police have had their mobile command center set up here at the Cielo at Azulik Apartments right off of Millage Avenue all throughout the day. Now, around 1 o'clock today, we learned from UGA officials that they had a person of interest police were questioning. But as you mentioned, within the last hour, we've learned a suspect has been taken into custody. 
and GBI officials spent all day Friday searching near this apartment complex off of Millage Avenue in connection to the death of 22-year-old Lincoln Riley. Around noon Thursday, police say Riley's friend called them concerned after she didn't return from a run at the intramural fields near Lake Carrick. They found her body in that area soon after with visible injuries. According to UGA officials, Riley was enrolled at UGA through the spring semester of 2023 and then transferred to the Augusta University College of Nursing in Athens. She was a member of the Alpha Chi Omega sorority. Both campuses canceled classes Friday. Family members placed flowers by Lake Herrick Friday morning. They weren't ready to speak on camera, but it was clear to see how much they loved her. UGA students we spoke to were shaken up. It's tragic because it happened in my backyard. I jog in the park about every single day, so I don't feel safe. Students say this apartment complex isn't a spot where students typically live. This housing is just about for anybody. I don't know the residents very well. You can rest assured that the University of Georgia police in cooperation, or you can all see, with um, Athens Clark County Police and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation are continuing to work around the clock to uh, resolve this uh, crime and to bring anyone involved with it to justice. Now we are still waiting to learn more about this suspect. We are expecting an update from investigators in about an hour. We'll be sure to bring you those updates as soon as we get them. Live this evening in Athens, Kim Loeffler, Fox 5 News. So happy to hear the police have made an arrest in the case, Kim. Thanks. Homeowners, if you... Hi, Mark Barden. So let's, uh, let me cue up another one here, maybe a little more recent where it talks about talks about the person that they arrested and the fact that uh, it, all indications are that it is an illegal migrant um, who's got a, a history too had some uh, had some uh, brushes with the law several times came across the border in September of 2022 I believe from what I heard so here's a more recent update out of uh, Fox Atlanta so let's give this one a go Georgia's campus. Investigators with the school's police department announced they have a suspect in custody. They say 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra will face a slew of charges, including malice murder and felony murder. Fox says Mary Smith attended a news... Yeah, they're throwing the book at them as they should. I wouldn't be surprised if they come after him with a few more. ...conference following the arrest. She joins us live from the campus with the details. Mary? Investigators announced those charges against the suspect, saying they don't believe that he knew the victim in this case. He was taken into custody today, as investigators say the evidence is, quote, robust. We are obtaining arrest warrants for Jose Antonio Ibera, 26 years of age. He lives here in Athens, but is not a U.S. citizen. UGA police have taken Jose Antonio Ibarra into custody in connection with the death of 22-year-old Lakin Riley. He has been charged with the following. Malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, hindering a 911 call, and concealing the death of another. Police say Thursday, Riley's roommate called them concerned when she didn't come home after going for a run in this area near intramural fields. Police found her unconscious and not breathing in a nearby wooded area behind Lake Herrick. Lakin attended UGA through spring of 2023, then transferred to a nursing program at Augusta University in Athens. At the press conference Friday night, police were asked her cause of death. Blunt force trauma. And what connection, if any, she had to the suspect. At this time, the, the investigation suggests that they had no relationship. Uh, he did not know her at all. Um, I think this was a crime of opportunity. Uh, where he saw an individual um, and uh, bad things happen. The evidence suggests that this was a solo act. Um, so, folks, as I've been telling you <clears throat> on this channel for the last couple of months, you need to have your head on a swivel. You need to be prepared. You need to have some security. Um, if at all possible, 
although this is in the middle of the day, but we're seeing this more and more people being um, having crime uh, performed against them in the middle of the day. There's a video. I'll probably see if I can find it. Uh, just last week where a 60-year-old lady was assaulted at 12 noon in Chicago as she walked down the street as three thugs wanted her purse. So, um, and we've talked about this before. I've had family members who have been uh, verbally assaulted in grocery stores in the morning, inside of grocery stores in the 7 o'clock in the morning by by weirdos, by weirdos. So uh, it can happen anywhere, and you've got to be aware. You've got to be um, have your head on a swivel and looking for stuff to happen and be able to deal with it in a timely fashion. Uh, we, we took three or four people in custody. However, we're only going to arrest one in this case. As of Friday night, police said investigators were still searching the suspect's apartment. At this time, the search warrant is taking place at the apartment right now as we speak. Um, that evidence is not known. I will say we didn't need the evidence inside of the apartment to convict uh, Mr. Ibarra. And Chief Clark went on to say there's no indication of a continuing threat to the community related to this case at this time. The suspect will be transported to the athens Clark County Jail. We're live in Athens, Mary Smith, Fox 5 News. Mm -hmm. Yeah, such a relief for so many people in that community. Mary, thanks. Okay, so at least they're coming to some quick closure on that, although I, I feel for the family. Um, this should not have happened.